So wow, that's completely troubling that the average weight gain is 29 pounds and for millennials it's 41 pounds. Keep it 100, I be feeling like uh, Campbell's soup over white rice. Uh, baked chicken with the skin on. Yeah, Lowry's with black pepper. I'm fully seasoned with that. What's going on, it's your boy Dre. Welcome to my channel. Keep it on, Dre. So, sorry I've been MIA for a little bit. I've been a bit under the weather. Not COVID, not COVID, but a bit under the weather. So, since we're talking about health and COVID, it's a perfect seg segue into what I'm talking about today. So, this is pretty... Sh I, I can't say it's pretty shocking, but it's still shocking that during the pandemic, a lot of Americans had a lot of unwanted weight gain. So take a look at this article. This article is by Healthline. 61% of Americans say they gained weight during the pandemic. 61% of US adults report undesired weight changes since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Stress, lack of exercise, unhealthy changes in eating habit, and increased alcohol consumption are all contributing factors. Experts say making small adjustments to your daily routine can make big changes for a more healthy lifestyle. So I'm not gonna read over this entire thing. I'm gonna go to the most important part in this article, the relevant parts. So, in fact, a new American Psychological Analysis APA survey of more than 3,000 people reveals that 61% of U.S. adults reported undesired weight changes since the COVID-19 outbreak. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, before the pandemic, about 40% of people had obesity in the United States. According to the new APA survey, two in five of the 3,000 adults surveyed gained more weight than they intended to over the last year, at an average of 29 pounds per person. 10% said they gained more than 50 pounds. I also want you to take a look at this chart as well. So this chart here, it breaks down those who gain and lost weight by demographics. As you can see here, men, women, Gen Z adults, millennials, Xers, boomers, older adults, white adults, Hispanic adults, black adults, Asian adults, parents, and essential workers. So the biggest weight gain of any group are millennials at 41 pounds. So wow, that's completely troubling that the average weight gain is 29 pounds and for millennials it's 41 pounds. So there's a lot of reasons why this is troubling because before the pandemic, 40% of Americans were obese. And that number has risen drastically since the pandemic. And also before the pandemic, 100 million Americans had either diabetes or prediabetes and there was a report that came out in 2015, this was obviously before the pandemic, that another 84 million Americans could develop diabetes if left untreated. So had COVID-19 not happened, we were on pace for another 84 million people to, to have diabetes. And because COVID-19, so many people gained a whole lot of weight, that number is probably much higher than even what was projected just a few years ago. So this is very dangerous and very scary. I'm not sure if most people know, but the main comorbidity of those who die of the COVID-19 virus, they have obesity. And more people die of obesity in COVID-19. COVID-19 is obviously something serious. It should be taken very seriously, but obesity is also a major, massive issue that Americans are facing. The thing is about most people who are obese is that can be easily changed by making just small changes to your diet. It's very, very important that we make those changes to our diet because COVID, we're going to beat it. We're not going to live in a world where COVID is a thing forever. There's vaccines right now that's very effective that people are getting that is going to minimize the effects 
of COVID in their body. So it's not going to be something that's going to be completely deadly going forward. We got over the Spanish flu a little over 100 years ago. We're going to get over COVID. Society's going to return to what it used to be. But this obesity epidemic that's going on in America is something that really needs to be handled and really needs to be taken care of. So I get that people lose and gain weight and there's a cycle. For me personally, my weight fluctuates about 15 pounds in a year. I'm between 150 to 165 pounds. It's very rare that I'm above or below those weights. I've never gone more than two pounds below 150 in years. And other, for, other than for a small period of time, I've never gone more than three pounds above 165 since high school. So I understand the weight fluctuations and your weight can fluctuate greatly within a day as much as eight pounds I've seen. A person weight can go up that much and that up and down during a day depending on what to eat, their bowel movements and things like that. But 29 pounds and 41 pounds for millennials, that's something that's very bad and needs to be taken care of because, listen man, Americans do not have universal health care. It's something we absolutely need to fight for, but until then, we have to do everything we can to, process, to take care of our health. Because if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. And I definitely found out when I got super sick in 2016 because of an, auto, an autoimmune disease that I have. So you have nothing if you, have, if you do not have your health. So I know these times are stressful. I know people eat a lot of food when they're stressed out, but you have to moderate it. You can't just, people who are eating much more unhealthy now, that's gonna be very detrimental in the long run. So sometimes instead of eating pizza and ice cream, eat a salad, eat rice, eat vegetables, eat fruits instead of candy. That makes all the difference in the world. And it's not only gonna make the difference in the, sh in the short term, but it's also gonna make the difference in the long term. Because what I've experienced with most people is once they gain weight, the vast majority of people don't lose it. And the weight loss is also troubling the people that lost massive amounts of weight. But I see very often people put on weight much easier than they lose it. So the people that lost weight, they're very likely going to get back to a normal weight if that's what they wanted. Because these are these studies show undesired weight changes. So if people had lost weight, they're very likely to be able to go back to how their weight was prior to the pandemic. But if people had gained undesired weight, it simply just doesn't happen very often that people lose weight and keep it off. Most diets fail they say 90, I think the number is 95% of people fail on their diet. It's not necessarily the diet that is the reason why they're not losing weight. It's mistakes being made and they're not able to adhere to the diet. So, listen. So I understand it's not going to be easy to lose that weight. But it's something that if you want to live healthy, much longer lives, lives without diabetes, lives without pre-diabetes, it's something that's absolutely necessary for you to do. Because like I said earlier, if you don't have your health, you wouldn't have anything. So it's not just about living long lives, which is much less likely if you're obese, especially if you're morbidly obese. It's also, it's about living lives that's long and healthy. And if you're gonna do something, and if you can do it through your diet, please do it, please do it. So that's all I gotta say for this video. I really, really appreciate you watching. But I'm gonna leave you with one more thing before the video's over, and that's the word of the day. The word of the day for today is health. Health is spelled H-E-A-L-T-H. The definition of health is the state of being free from illness or injury. So now I will attempt to use health in a sentence. You have absolutely nothing if you do not have your health. 
Hopefully I used that sentence correctly, even though I used that in the video like 20 times. So again, if you like the content, like and subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications so you know when I post more videos and use health in the sentence or, or you can tell me in the comment section below, how did your health improve or get worse during the pandemic that's going on right now? So again, I really, really appreciate you watching the video. I am sent this. Peace. Well, I've been stacking up. Uh, nah, really, that ain't accurate. Cause I just spent my whole damn advance in the past couple months just to compensate for times we ain't have enough. Ooh.